A Tale of Two Brothers, the dramatic story behind Peter Paul Rubens' The Reconciliation Between Jacob and Esau. One of the most captivating scenes in the Old Testament is the reunion of Jacob and Esau, two brothers who had been estranged for years after a bitter conflict over their father's blessing. The story, recounted in Genesis 33 verses 1 to 10, is full of emotion, suspense, and drama, as Jacob fears for his life and Esau surprises him with forgiveness and embrace. The story has inspired many artists throughout history, but perhaps none more than Peter Paul Rubens, the Flemish master of the Baroque era. Peter Paul Rubens, 1577-1640, was one of the most influential and prolific painters of the 17th century. He was renowned for his expressive and dynamic style, his rich and vibrant colors, his mastery of anatomy and perspective, and his ability to depict a wide range of subjects, from mythology and history to portraits and landscapes. He was also a successful diplomat, scholar, and collector, who traveled extensively and worked for many European courts and patrons. The reconciliation between Jacob and Esau is one of Rubens' most impressive and ambitious works, and part of a series of paintings commissioned by King Philip IV of Spain through his aunt, the Archduchess Isabella, the governor of the Spanish Netherlands. The series, known as the History of the Old Testament, consisted of twelve large-scale paintings depicting scenes from the Hebrew scriptures, intended to decorate the Torre de la Parada, a hunting lodge near Madrid. Rubens painted the series between 1628 and 1630, with the help of his studio assistants and collaborators. The painting depicts the moment when Jacob and Esau meet after a long separation, following Jacob's flight from his brother's wrath. Jacob had deceived his father Isaac into giving him the blessing that belonged to Esau, the firstborn son, thus stealing his birthright and inheritance. Esau had sworn to kill Jacob, and Jacob had fled to his uncle Laban's house, where he had married his cousins Rachel and Leah and had fathered eleven sons and a daughter. After twenty years, Jacob had decided to return to his homeland, but he was afraid of Esau's reaction. He had sent messengers ahead to inform Esau of his arrival, and had prepared a generous gift of cattle and sheep to appease him. He had also divided his family and possessions into two groups, hoping to save at least one in case of an attack. He had spent the night alone, wrestling with an angel, who had blessed him and changed his name to Israel, meaning he who struggles with God. The painting captures the climax of the story, when Jacob sees Esau approaching with four hundred men. He bows down seven times before his brother, showing his humility and repentance. Esau, however, runs towards him and embraces him, kissing him and weeping. The painting shows the contrast between the two brothers, Jacob is dressed in simple and modest clothes, while Esau is clad in armor and fur, indicating his martial and adventurous lifestyle. Jacob is accompanied by his wives Rachel and Leah, who hold their children in their arms, while Esau is surrounded by his soldiers, who carry spears and shields. Jacob's gift of animals is visible in the background, as well as a tent and a camel. The painting is a masterpiece of composition and expression, creating a sense of movement and drama. Rubens uses a diagonal perspective, leading the eye from the lower left corner, where Jacob kneels, to the upper right corner, where Esau stands. The figures are arranged in a pyramidal shape, with Jacob and Esau at the apex, creating a sense of balance and harmony. The colors are warm and luminous, contrasting the earthy tones of the landscape with the bright hues of the clothes and the flesh. The light comes from the left, highlighting the faces and the gestures of the main characters. The painting is full of details and textures, from the fur and the feathers of the animals to the jewels and the fabrics of the costumes. The painting also conveys a range of emotions. From fear and anxiety to joy and relief, as the brothers reunite and reconcile.